Well, happy Easter. In keeping with tradition uh, for uh, hundreds, if not uh, over a thousand years, um, when I say he is risen, you say he is risen indeed. He is risen. He is risen indeed. Amen. He is. Um, I can think of no better way to celebrate Easter than with the baptism. After all, Easter is the resurrection of Christ, and baptism symbolizes how each one of us has a new life in Christ. Um, I need to tell a little bit about Cordy before she comes down. Uh, she's a great friend of all three of my kids. And uh, I have some, I, I think, kind of embarrassing pictures from when you were like two or three, actually. <laughs> uh, her and Cory eating ice cream together, uh, just giggling and laughing. Uh, I need to show those sometimes. But um, I, it's just a great blessing to, to baptize somebody that I've seen grow up in the church. Uh, somebody who's so connected to the church. And uh, we as a church family... We all get to witness that together and be a part of that together. I know I'm the one up here in the water, but uh, we as the whole church have, have a role in, have, and have had a role in her coming to Christ. So I appreciate all of you, each, each one of you this morning as well. Um, but without further, further ado, uh, Courtney, if you'll join me in the water. Courtney, uh, have you accepted Christ as your Savior and Lord? And uh, do you now wish to desire, uh, do you desire to follow him in baptism and, and obey with him, him in your life? Amen. All right. Upon your profession of faith in Christ, I now baptize you, my sister, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Buried with Christ in his death. Raised to walk in newness of life. Amen. Amen. Yeah, this is a great step of obedience for her, but as always, I always want to point out that it's also a step of obedience for each one of us as her church. Uh, so as she's made this commitment this morning, we also have a commitment to make, and that's to nurture her faith, to see her uh, continue to grow in faith. Um, so I'm going to ask you as well, uh, do you as, as her church commit to um, being there for her, to be her church, to love her, and to help her to grow in her faith? If you will do that, say, we do. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Uh, well, let's pray, and then we'll continue worshiping Jesus this morning. God, thank you so much for this church, uh, a, a church where we uh, celebrate together. We celebrate um, people coming to know you. And uh, God, I pray for Cordy. I pray that you would um, draw her near yourself. I pray that as she walks with you, as she trusts in Jesus, not just at the beginning of her life, but throughout her life and at the end of her life as well, that uh, you... Uh, assure her of your presence, assure her of your grace, your goodness, and to help us as, as her church to uh, do uh, what we ought to do as her church, to love her, uh, to point her to you, and uh, help us to util utilize her gifts, her spiritual gifts for your glory. And we pray on this Easter, God, that we uh, would worship you, recognizing that you're the one who gives us new life. Um, we don't stand here by our merit. We stand here only because we were dead in our sin. And that you give us new life by, by grace through faith. We, we praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. <coughs> 